Everybody. So as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe and this is Blue Over Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be a reading for all of our divine feminines. Okay, so DF Empress High Priestess Energy only. If you in any way at all identify as a divine masculine hunty, you can go ahead and get out because this reading right now is not for you, sir. Okay, <laughs> this reading right now is not for you. All right. Let us go ahead and jump into the reading. Let us see what the messages are that Spirit has here for the twins on today. Thank you, Spirit. Someone finds you to be simply irresistible, honey. Constantly drawn back to you. You're trying to block this person out, though. Okay, that's what it looks like. Because we have cleansing here. Okay, so you're trying to, you know, meditate, keep yourself zen, keep all your chakras aligned, honey. Remove all negativity from around you. Okay, uh, this person wants to come closer. Okay, <laughs> so it's like uh, interesting, right? It's like that's kind of telling you something. It's kind of like when you pray to spirit and you're like, hey, anything that is of harm or ill will, you know, block it. And then certain people just start falling off like flies. Well, if you're cleaning out negative energy and somebody is coming closer to you, which is what I always tell the twins, as you guys like get closer to spirit, you're going to see that your twin and you get closer to one another. Okay. Um, keeping spirit as the center, right? This is what we mean by a kingdom spouse It's not a negative thing. Just that a lot of toxic things have been attached to the twin flame situation somehow along the way. I don't know why or how that even happened, but it's not like that. You get what I'm saying? So I feel like just from this person's name coming up, you're triggered just from, you know, um, seeing a car like theirs, you're triggered or something like that. Okay. Um, driving by their place, you're triggered or something. <laughs> something like that okay they could have just recently moved closer to you and this is triggering because you're like oh man you know i've been trying to remove them out of my energy and now here they go this is wild okay so you're on the verge of about to reveal or confess how it is that you really feel to this person okay um to let them know that you know this is not something that is fake this is not something that is um temporary okay you feel like this is long term or this is something that can be sheesh okay so archangel michael is here telling you you know pause on that wait a minute okay hold fast because i feel like child or children could be involved here in this situation okay um something that maybe you've been keeping notes on like something doesn't necessarily all the way add up maybe with what this person has told you or the information they have provided to you so with you doing your own calculations <laughs> you feel like uh you know one plus one is not necessarily two right now so you might just have to wait the desire the pull may be strong but still it's not it's not a good enough reason to go ahead and just put everything out there on the table okay so yeah i feel like this would be taking a risk or gambling you know make sure you have all the necessary information even though this person keeps thinking about you that's great let them keep thinking about you until certain truths are provided otherwise i feel like this is going to be something that becomes like a love affair versus something that is commitment you get what i'm saying and that's not what you want so this person does want to see you they want to meet they want to talk let them show you and prove to you what you need to see before you go ahead and just do whatever you need to do in that type of way. You get what I'm saying? So we have, <laughs> we have today, because it's early in the day. We're going to stay at a certain type of way right now, okay? We 18 plus in it right now. So today, this person is embarrassed, once again, because of something. They know something is not adding up, okay? Something is not adding up. So this is telling me that there could be a baby on the way. Okay, they can have a baby on the way. You don't know this, though. Or you know this, but maybe they don't know you know this. Or something like that. Okay. Let's see, y'all. We have grip. Okay, so it's something here. Something weighing heavy on them that they want to get off their chest and talk to you about. And they're hoping and praying that, you know, this is not going to make you say, you know what, I'm good. However, I feel like it will. It, for a lot of you, you're going to start running away from this person. You're going to start trying to deny them um, simply because, yeah, you don't want to have no love affair. Nobody is blaming you. You shouldn't. OK, yeah, we have retaliation. Um, I feel like ultimately what it will do is just create a whole bunch of drama. The person will then make the situation difficult for them and all of that 
is unnecessary. So, yes, this person wants to have a conversation with you. They want to talk. Cool. That's great. You get what I'm saying? Once again, as you get closer to the spirit, you'll get closer to them. When the time comes, you guys will come together. But until then, pause on that, right? Pause on all of the revealing of feelings and this and that and woo, woo, woo. And no. Okay? No. <laughs> so, let us see. What are the messages here for feminine? <clears throat> manifest i feel like it is coming though of course you get what i'm saying challenges are there you will overcome the challenges together right and then when the time comes you can fully go ahead and just open your heart be vulnerable expressive right um but in the time being or for the time being move on okay i feel like this person is going to have to get a separation or a divorce or something like that you know from wherever they are prior to like i said coming to you once again you don't want to repeat a negative cycle okay so this is what i'm feeling like is like a warning from spirit okay something about mercury retrograde what is the next mercury retrograde by the way okay coming up we got no okay so see it's not the right time you don't want to start or do something during mercury retrograde especially not no relationship we have water sign okay cancer scorpio pisces all right, we have air sign and manifest. Yeah, so it's coming, intimacy, all that. You get what I'm saying? But you guys have a lot of chemistry, <laughs> okay? This person is reminiscing about that. For those of you who have done something with this person, you've had sex, they're reminiscing about it. They think about it a lot. Is it the time to go ahead and do something? No, because what you'll end up doing is <laughs> having sex, okay, for sure. But spirit is like, we got to pause on that. Yes, the twins come together, they, you know, okay. Not everybody, okay. That's great. But some people, yes, they do. And it's amazing. <laughs> okay, we give it credit where credit is due. Okay, credit is due there. So, yeah, it helps you manifest. However, once again, you can do that on your own too. It's not the right time, okay. Tell the universe exactly what you want. Be very, very specific. It will come through with the rest. So let us see. Masculine. Masculine's peace is disturbed right now. Okay. You are their heart's desires, but they know they cannot have you unless they show you this proof. They want this burning beginning with you. So guess what they're going to do? Go through whatever they got to go through to have this burning beginning with you. All right. Let us see. What are the messages here for feminine? What does she need to know? Thank you, spirit. We have the page of swords. Oh, yeah, this person spies. <laughs> this person spies, okay? They think of you so often. They send you intuitive messages throughout the day. They're sending you intuitive messages throughout the day. Yeah, see, they don't have peace. Look at this. They're all over the place. You guys see this card? The energy of the card. Do you see? And what is this? This is what they want to bring to your awareness. Maybe they haven't said it in the physical, but they don't have peace without you. They don't feel right. They literally do not sleep well at night. Mm. All because of something that transpired in the past, something that they are in deep, deep regret over. And once again, they really just want to have this burning beginning, let go of the past. They're hoping that this is something you guys can do. Um, once again, the only way they will do that or you guys will be able to do that is if they take accountability and show you what it is they need to show you. Because as the Queen of Pentacles, it's like you're willing to forgive, it feels like, okay? But once again, you need the proof. You need the physical proof because the Queen of Pentacles is a physical sign. So you need to see it in order to believe it type of thing. Like you feel it, that's great, but you need to see it in order to believe it. 
right? Like you don't want to fall for an illusion. Yeah, the high priestess, you intuitively feel it. That's great. But where has that gotten you up until this point? Feeling the love for this person, feeling the connection for this person, you know, or that you have with this person. What has that gotten you? Getting their intuitive messages and being able to decipher them very clearly, hearing them loud and clearly throughout the day. As often as they think of you, you hear their voice, you hear them talking. Where has that gotten you up until now? <clears throat> and so this is why, you know, moon card, you just keep certain things to yourself and you wait for them to come forward and give you this page of cups, which is reconciliation. This is an apology. You know, this is a request to start anew when it comes to love or romance. Okay, and this person is praying that you don't reject them, Four of Cups. Because they really feel like, yes, I'm your masculine. I'm your divine counterpart. And I feel like in the past, maybe they didn't, once again. Maybe they weren't aware of the connection. Or maybe they were just afraid of it. Right? But all they know is they don't have peace without you. Look what was, it just wants to come out. So there we go karmic okay that was what it was they went into the direction of karmic there was past life debt that needed to be paid off okay i feel like they're set free from this past life debt okay so yeah we got the king of swords okay now that they see the truth or they know the truth they can be set free they've overcome this spiritual lesson okay or they've passed this spiritual test all right so yeah they have passed the test but it is not time to move forward as of right now you got to let that contract conclude Okay, that karmic contract. What is this? Yeah, we have the empress. And then they will come towards you. They're divine feminine. Okay, what's the underlining right now? Yep, knight of swords. Okay, so let the karmic contract conclude. And then they will come towards you. They're divine feminine. Nice and ready. Like I said, okay, utilizing the energy from the lion's gate. Okay, the portal is open today. They're no longer going to be stuck or bound to the third party. Okay, they're going to come to you to tell you how much they love you. They're ready to build with you. They can see this life with you. They always have. They're just finally speaking up on it. They finally have the courage or the nerve to speak up on it. Okay. But them speaking up on it is one thing versus you guys saying, okay, let's go ahead and uh, proceed with being together. <laughs> You know, during the start of whatever this Mercury retrograde energy is coming in here. You get what I'm saying? Or any retrograde. And we're about to have five planets, I believe, retrograde all at the same time. So we have the moon here. Okay. Lots of secrets about to come out, about to be revealed. You're about to see truth for what it is, but only once. Like I said, cycles complete. Everything is in alignment. So just continue to manifest, speak great things, and then you shall see great things. Okay. Eight of Wands. And it will happen very, very quickly. Okay, so it's not like this is something that's going to take forever. They already know what it is they want to do. It's just a matter of divine timing. Okay, that's what I'm seeing here. So let us see. Let's pull some from the Dear Empress deck. All right, you can purchase this deck for yourself over on my website. All right, let us see. Ooh, it says, I've spoken to those who are the closest to me. They know the truth. Okay, so, hmm, they've been talking to people about you. Okay, letting them know that they love you. Because look, it says, I love that you. And then it says, I'm loving your, like this person loves you. And that's what they tell people when they speak about you. Okay, so it says, I'm loving your big goddess energy. Okay, and it says, I love that you are in this world, but not of it. You make me want to be a better person. Okay, so they truly do, truly, truly do love you. <laughs> keeps coming out right it says you make me sing high notes you make this person very happy and you tap into their heart space like you help them open their heart okay in a way that they never thought they would be able to okay or in a way they never thought they would be able to again and then this one wanted to come out as well it says i know that you are worth the wait therefore i will work on becoming my best self in the meanwhile okay so like i said it's not the right time quite yet but they have to continue wrapping up that lesson, okay? So that's what I'm getting here, okay? Underlying the energy is low vibrational energies are what I most resonated with at the time, okay? You were too different, yet my perfect match. So 
at the time it was like they weren't where you were energetically so they weren't going to disturb your flow instead they were going to make themselves better and then come back to you ready you get what i'm saying that was the plan so that's always been the plan they're like they've stuck to the plan <laughs> You get what I'm saying? That's just what it is. This is a man with a plan. All right. So if this was your reading or you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. Peace and hair